Join us now as we roam the universe through the incredible mind of one of our true national treasures, scientific visionary, Isaac Asimov. My name is Isaac Asimov. I'm editorial director of Isaac Asimov Science Fiction Magazine, and I've been involved with science fiction all my life, practically. And the problem is, how do you differentiate between science fiction and science? And the answer is that it's very difficult to do so, because not only is the boundary fuzzy, but it changes all the time. <laughs> When I began to write science fiction way back in the 1930s, or the Middle Ages as I like to think of it, that was a time when space travel was absolutely science fiction. Even a trip to the moon was science fiction. One of my first stories was about someone getting into a rocket ship and going around the moon and coming back. And boy, was that a stroke of imagination on my part. One of the big problems of space is the energy it costs us. The rockets we use now are extremely primitive, use incredible amounts of energy in order to do comparatively little. And we have to wonder, is there any way we can make long trips without concomitant increases in the amount of energy we use? And one of the possibilities is to go back to sailing ships, you know, in the old days, before we ran ships on steam, on burning oil, we used the wind, and it blew into the sails. Silently and without energy expenditure, it drove the ships over the ocean. And now we have another kind of wind, a wind that comes from the sun, a series of particles always driving outward. And if we had sails large enough, this solar wind, could push us here and there. And there are ways of doing such a thing which would save greatly on energy, but which would require other great advances, because you would need sails that were many square miles in area and yet were comparatively light. But we have the vision of the clipper ships of the future sailing through the solar system. 